my bad leo they really don't want me to upload this message man we didn't got cut off twice but you know leo gang i ain't gonna stop until till the message is complete and done so we just gonna keep going um but on top of that star card i pulled before we got cut off the eight of knives reverse the eight of wands reverse and the five of wands reverse so yes definitely a lot of um i feel like these people are just haters they're just trolls these people are intimidated by you um because it's like you inspire them but at the same time they hate you for that very reason they're they're mad because you're stronger than them you're mad because you're more successful than them you're they're mad that you're more stable than them they're mad because you're more mature than them like these are just childish ass people the five of wands reverse and then these people are like cowards and and like scary and shit it's like these people are scared of you now for some reason i don't know why maybe because your ancestors been whooping their ass but the five of wands reverse is somebody who who is holding a grudge but they walking around trying to act like nothing is bothering them or nothing is wrong um eight of eight of swords not eight of swords eight of wands reverse is a state of hysteria a state of emergency some of these people may really need your help but they're too prideful to ask for it or they're too scared of you to ask for it um eight of wands reverse like delay stagnation um these people could be having they're just extremely frustrated some of these people are in embarrassing circumstances um some of these people are having car trouble their cars are faltering um with this uh tower card i feel like this scorpio there could be a scorpio who had like some sort of car accident so now they don't have a car anymore or any mode of transportation it doesn't have to be that scorpio but i feel like something's going on here with somebody's car a the swords reverse these people are scared they feel trapped backed into a corner um they feel stuck bound um in a mental prison um their own thoughts are playing tricks on them and shit but i feel like that's really your ancestors just playing with these people on some real shit um some of these people could be going to jail with that eight of swords i don't know what these motherfuckers are trying to do to you leo but they are not getting away with it that's for damn sure give me another card yeah just this card so we got libra out here i'm telling you these people are getting really really bad karma something here was not fair to you leo and I don't know what these people then did, but they really getting their ass handed to them. The Justice card reverse, that's like the worst karma that you can get. It definitely could be a Libra. Definitely could be an Aquarius out here. The Aquarius is in the upright. I feel like this Aquarius is tired of getting hit by karma. They want to heal things with you. They definitely want to reconcile. Um, So Aquarius, Libra for sure, Scorpio, Aries. Why is the justice card reverse? Somebody here with the ace of swords, though, wants to clear the air with you. They want to say something. I don't know what they want to say, though. What is the justice card reverse? Yeah. I feel like this Libra may want to tell you that they left some karmic partner for you or something. Yeah, Leo, I'm hearing you say, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like this libra wants to come tell you that they didn't left some toxic ass woman alone with the devil card reverse but they're still toxic this libra wants to come and tell you that he's done fucking with some karmic bitch but he's still in the reverse as well so it's just like okay but okay that's why i said it's like a motive behind these fake ass apologies and shit like some some uh, this might be your ex but some man out here wants to come tell you that they're done messing with somebody but it's like okay but you're still you reek like i feel like you're gonna smell it on this person like like as soon as you talk to them like it might not even be in person but just through a text message you just gonna smell the stench on this person like karma is on this person's ass and you know it i'm telling you this person is broke they don't have no money so although yes the most high has put them in a position where they're going to have to come confess to you what they actually did 
but i mean that's just justice for you leo like this person has to become your footstool they have to crawl back to you and tell you the truth but that's just your justice you're not gonna help this person out <laughs> who is this i feel like this person is still very much toxic with the devil card here, this person is very much toxic. This person has addictions. They have entities on them. I'm hearing STDs. I mean, this person could have like a literal STD, but I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about spiritually transmitted diseases. This person has a lot of entities on them for whoever they've been around, whoever they've been hanging around with. Look, three of cups uh, on the bottom of the deck in the reverse. The three of cups reverse talks about... Um, it's gossip going on about this person. This Libra or this Capricorn, it could be gossip about um, this Libra, this Capricorn, or this water sign. It's gossip going on about this person, about, um, like I said, it could be an STD because I said there's 606 on the timer, but with the Three of Cups reverse, the Three of Cups talks about canceled celebrations. People don't want to kick it with this person no more. They don't want to fuck with this person, hang out with this person. Three of Cups Reverse also talks about um, somebody who's promiscuous. So this is the type of person, whoever this ex is, this person likes to, to, like to fuck a lot of bitches. And people are gossiping about that. And I don't know if this person knows it or not, but I don't know if this person knows that people are talking about them. Like this person is getting gossiped about and not in a good way. That's a three of cups reverse. Yeah, three of swords reverse, three of cups reverse. This person definitely has you in a third party. That's a three of cups reverse. Yeah, daughter of baskets. I'm telling you, this person wants to apologize with the page of cups here. But I'm telling you, it could be gossip going on if this person got somebody pregnant with the Page of Cups. Or they have a daughter on the way with somebody. Or you may find this out. This person has to come tell you that. It's like, I don't know. If this person was in a relationship with somebody, I feel like he broke up with that person if they got you involved in a third party. Um, but I feel like... I don't, it's somebody pregnant though. This person has somebody pregnant. And I don't know if this, this ex they're coming to confess that they're broken up with now, or if this is somebody else that they got pregnant. Cause like I said, three of cups reverse, this person is promiscuous. He fucks a lot of bitches or she fucks a lot of men. So she could be coming to back to tell you that she's pregnant by someone or this man, this ex is coming back to tell you he got somebody pregnant. Like the baby is like, I don't think she, the page of cups, I don't think, I don't mean, I don't know. I can't say how far along she is, but somebody out here is definitely pregnant with the page of cups. Lots of page of cups here. Yeah, ace of wands, reverse. And I feel like this turns you completely the fuck off. There will be no new beginning with this person. You don't want to have sex with them. This person doesn't turn you on, nothing. It's like you're so over and done with this person. Like, it's not even funny. Ace of Wands reverse. Yeah, I'm telling you, you do not want to have sex with this person. This was a one-sided relationship and all this person cared about was sex. Like I said, for a lot of you, this person can have some sort of sex addiction. That's all they want to do is fuck. Like, and it's like disgusting. Like, it's like a unhealthy, like an unhealthy vibe. The Eight of Swords reverse is also a negative vibe. So these are just negative, miserable, low vibrational jealous haters trolls all this type of shit and it's just like you just don't have time to focus on this type of foolery um some of you could be a gemini with the lovers reversed here yeah but it was definitely a one-sided situation this person just has abandonment issues this person doesn't know how to be alone they always got to be attached or connected to somebody or someone 
they just go from relationship to relationship yes yeah, some of you it could be a cancer like i said if it's not a cancer this person just took the wrong path in life they've been off their spiritual journey for a while now so it's just i feel like it's just this person is just like too far gone it's like nothing that you could do for them or help them with other than maybe offer them some words of encouragement because look at this queen of swords popped out like that's why i said you only got some words of encouragement for this person um on some advice or something like that but that's hell you may recommend a book to read for this person or something like that but that's really it you can't do nothing for this person like i said the cherry versus person doesn't have a car i mean this person is really doing bad yeah look at that seven of swords it's definitely a sneaky ass aquarius female out here um that could have been doing some sort of kitchen witch magic or something if you leo males if you were dating a aquarius female she she could have been with that witchy poo shit putting shit in your food i'm just saying but it is definitely a sneaky ass um aquarius female out here um but like i said this person is gonna try to come back towards you and, and confess this information or whatever the fuck this is this person doesn't have good intention seven of swords they're being sneaky this person is a con a liar a fraud and definitely be careful the seven of swords energy is thief energy this person might want to steal something from you clarify this seven of swords what is this motherfucker up to seven of swords I feel like whoever this person is, this air sign, this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, female, I feel like she's crazy. Because look at how she's smiling. It's like she's happy to do this shit. She's happy to put something in your food or to try to, I don't know. Seven of Swords. Whoever this air sign is, this bitch is creepy. Yeah, Dr. Grant. This this whoever this Aquarius is or this air sign or this Virgo, this person's been cast the fuck out. People do not want to fuck with this person no more. I'm telling you. The hermit card reverse, this person does not go within themselves. They don't know how to heal themselves. They don't know how to um heal their trauma. They don't know how to acknowledge their pain. Like this person is just like depressed or something this is like some untreated depression or something for some of you this could be a baby mama and she suffers from some sort of untreated postpartum depression like this i feel like this person needs professional help like real shit that's the hermit card reverse whoever this virgo is yeah this person is delusional they think that you guys are going to be in a relationship with this ten of cups like this is what this person thinks that they're going to have with you by any means necessary like this bitch is like i don't care if i gotta poison him like this is this is what this is what's gonna this is what i want ten of cups this person wants a relationship with you and they're willing to do whatever it takes to get that this person is crazy Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, Cancer, Libra, Sagittarius. Ten of Cups. Or like I said, this is some crazy ass family member too as well. This like, I don't know, somebody out here just really can't stand your ass. It's like somebody has some sort of grudge against you. It's like, this person is weird as fuck. Temperance. Or it, it could be an air sign out here. Jealous because you're you're in a relationship with a Sagittarius. Or you're getting married to a Sagittarius. Or you're getting married to a water sign. Or you're in a relationship with a water sign. Or temperance is reconciliation. Maybe you work things out with a water sign after this person tried to sabotage our relationship. You tried to work something out with a Sagittarius or a water sign or somebody that you're in a relationship with or you're getting back together with somebody and this bitch is pissed off because 
whatever witchy poo kitchen work shit she was trying to do didn't work. Now this bitch losing her mind because her witchcraft or whatever the fuck she thinks she do is bogus. This bitch is slow. Clarify the father of baskets. So you could be reconciling some with someone or the temperance is also a soulmate. You could just get into a new relationship with somebody and you get the ten of cups. That's complete emotional fulfillment. And somebody here is jealous as fuck because they couldn't sabotage something for you. It could be an ex and like a family member, a friend that you don't fuck with no more. These people don't want to see you happy. They don't want to see you in a relationship for whatever reason. These people are like codependent and needy on your energy. So they feel like... If somebody else gets you or you start spending all your time and energy with somebody else, then they don't get to have you no more. Or they don't get to see you no more or, or something. These people are weird or just too codependent on your energy. Why is the father of baskets here? Yeah, I'm hearing these people don't like boundaries. Oof. Yeah, six of wands. I'm telling you, six of wands, you out here winning or you will be. Like, you're starting to see success. You're starting to receive accolades. You're respected. Six of Wands. People like you. People, um, if you have some sort of platform, they come watch you. They come listen to you. They come, um, want, they want to work with you. They want to purchase your services. They want to, you know, I don't know. They feel like you can lead the way in some sort of way with the Six of Wands. You're getting praise. You're getting acknowledged. You're getting the attention and respect that you deserve. Like, people are giving you your flowers, Leo. And somebody here is mad and hating. Because maybe they had an opportunity to be with you and they fucked it up. Yeah, seven of cups reversed. This is reality. Ain't no more smoke and mirrors. People are seeing what's what, who's who, what's real, what's fake. People are realizing that you are the motherfucking truth, Leo. You were the truth the whole time and whatever this fucking was. Like after people tried to slander you or make you out to be a bad person, the motherfuckers is realizing that, oh, Leo was really... Leo didn't do that or Leo didn't say that. And Leo, like, yeah, the truth is being exposed here. For whatever these people were trying to make it seem like you did or said or you were a certain type of way, I don't know. Yeah, look at that sun card, Big Mama. I'm telling you, you showing up. You're like, nah, let me shed some light on this. Hell yeah, some of y'all Leo females can cook hella good. Or you got a grandma or a mom that knows how to cook hella good. Mm -hmm. Tell her to send me a plate. <laughs> anyway, Knight of Cups reverse, and then get the fuck off of here. Yeah, not nine of uh wands reversed. This water sign, this gay ass water sign is pissed. I'm telling you, it's a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio that's mad as hell as you. But I feel like this is the water sign from your past. This is not the new water sign person. Like if you're currently in a relationship with a water sign or you're getting to know a water sign, that's not this person. This is a water sign from the past, 1818 on the timer. This is a motherfucker with a chip on their shoulder nine of wands reverse this person is pissed this person is crazy too because the nine of wands is the definition of insanity that's somebody who does the same shit repeatedly expecting different results um nine of wands this person has had a lot of failed relationships and so they're just wounded and traumatized and paranoid about relationships now um, this person has major, major trust issues or they feel like you did it to them. Yeah, Ace of Coins, this person is broke as fuck too. Uh, whoever this water sign is from the past, they feel like you're responsible for something here. Responsible for why they got trust issues. Responsible for why they ain't got no money. Ace of Pentacles reverse. They feel like they missed the opportunity with you. Yeah, Ace of Cups, reverse. It's unrequited love. I feel like you don't care about this person. I can say you don't care about them, but you don't feel the same way that you did before. You're not in love with this person or nothing. This is this person feels like they missed out on a major opportunity with you. This water sign from the past. Ace of Cups, reverse. This person could be crying and shit. Very emotionally unstable. 
Yeah, magician reverse. But this person was a trickster. Very, very manipulative. This person played too many fucking games, or they just play too many games in general with life. Yeah, now this was reversed. This person is really going through it. Whoever this water sign is from the past, or this Gemini is from the past, this person is really like going fucking through it. I'm talking about nine of swords reversed. This person's having sleepless nights, nightmares, bad dreams. I mean, this person could be suicidal as well. Um, that's thoughts of suicide. This person has shameful secrets as well. Nine of swords reversed. I'm talking about this. All this person thinks about. They just keep rehashing certain events that went went on or happened between you and them. Why is the nine of swords reversed? What is this person having nightmares about? Oh, the most high. Ooh, we. The most high is out here. The hierophant. God is really giving this person some act right. Yeah, three of coins. Yeah, because I feel like the, this person plotted on you. Three of coins. This person tried to do something to you or tried to... I'm hearing this person tried to sacrifice you. What the fuck? Yeah, I feel like whoever this is, you may curse this person out. Wait, no. Queen of Wands. Reverse. I feel like these people could have been working together. Three of coins. These people could have been in cahoots. Because the queen of... uh. The mother of sticks is the queen of wands reverse. Everybody in tarot land knows that that's a dark witch. Somebody who plays with dark magic. Somebody could have paid like a practitioner to do some sort of work on you. And that shit completely backfired on this person. This person, I don't know. This person is like really out of their mind right now. Whoever this dark witch is, this magician, like they, somebody here was in cahoots working with like some type of spiritual practitioner to do work on you especially if you're like a um leo that does tarot reading because maybe these people i don't know it's like they wanted to defeat you they wanted to beat you or like at all costs because they felt like you were some sort of threat or some sort of competition and they knew they couldn't just do it on their own so it looks like they recruited some sort of like look at that three of coins she got that stack of money right there they paid some sort of practitioner and god knows where they found this person or met this person they paid some sort of practitioner and and collaborated with this person three of coins came up with some type of plan or plot to work against you this dark witch queen of wands reverse and it did not work it's backfiring on this person and they are in trouble like real shit this person is in trouble trouble yeah i'm hearing now these people want to play nice now they want to be your friend again i'm telling you in come the fake apologies and all that weird ass shit tell me about this dark witch this mother of sticks reverse what's her deal page of knives yeah this this bitch was lying on you page of swords reverse i mean this bitch has her name your name all up in her mouth like she's a liar with the page of swords reverse but this bitch is getting some sort of bad news too with the page of knives reverse this woman can have an air sign child yeah son of knives reverse yeah this person could be some sort of criminal Six of Cups. I'm telling you, this is a miserable, miserable ass bitch in your family that was doing work on you. Yeah, and now she wants to be nice now. Four of Cups reverse. She wants to, um, after she tried to reject you or make you feel some type of way or act like she ain't want to fuck with you, now she want to spin the block again because this shit is backfiring on her ass. She being haunted and everything. King of Swords. Like I said, she was in cahoots with somebody, too. I'm telling you, it was some type of plot here. Seven of coins. Somebody was waiting on something to work, and it didn't work. It backfired. Yeah, high priestess reverse on the bottom of the deck. Somebody was doing work on you. Ooh, look. Five of swords reverse on the bottom. Some, some, 
I'm telling you, somebody was telling some sick ass lies about you. Real shit. I don't know. I'll have to do a separate reading um, for you, Lee, on that dark witch shit. I don't, this ain't the time to be going into all of that. Because it's definitely, somebody was doing here some black magic on you, and they were definitely in cahoots working together with somebody else. I mean, I do see that the shit backfired, though. It did not work. That's why Four Cups is in reverse. These people want to come make amends with you and shit now after they know they tried to sacrifice you. Yeah, but you don't have to worry. The most high showed up out here anyway. Where you go? Yeah, the Hierophant came out. God is already <laughs> on top of the situation, so you don't even have to worry about it. Give me messages for Leo, for the person, if they're thinking about the person on their mind, if it's kind of time spirit. We have a cancer out here. So some of you could be currently dating a cancer. I'm telling you that the King of Cups is out here. Some of you are newly dating a, a water sign. got vulnerability so some of you leos could be struggling with being vulnerable with this new person yeah the prototype <laughs> you're the original empress yes sir you you a bad bitch leo i'm telling you you may struggle a little bit with being vulnerable but you definitely earn your stripes that's for damn sure and your ancestors don't play about you you're the original ain't no fake shit about you <laughs> that's why people try to copy you Everybody always tries to copy the original piece, the original prototype. Look at that crown on her head. Both of them got crowns on. Yes, Leo. Yeah, it could be a Taurus significant here. Yeah, you're in deep thought about a lot of things. You know, just focused on yourself, focused on what's next for you. And I feel like you're coming up with a lot of great ideas and a lot of stuff that you want to do and work on, but you're definitely in deep thought yeah star-crossed lovers i feel like you're trying to figure out if this new person this taurus or this cancer that you're currently dating i feel like you're going to be in deep thought trying to figure out if this person is worth you being vulnerable but i feel like it is leo this is new love i feel like this person here is to help you heal from all this other shit that you've experienced you finally get to rest and relax and just recoup i'm hearing let's see let me get six cards for leo protect yourself so make sure you use a condom with whoever this is leo because yeah i feel like leo you're in this empress energy with vulnerability and a prototype so make sure you use a condom as safety measures but also so you won't get pregnant if you're not ready to have a kid or you don't want to have a baby by this person got romantic sex so yes you're gonna be making love to somebody leo or you are ready for a booty call so somebody from the past whoever this weird ass motherfucker from the past is they they want to have sex with you too yeah i'm so hot for you Ooh, this person is disgusting they probably be like jacking off to your pictures and shit going to make you mine <laughs> Yeah, whoever this new person that you're dating, I feel like you really turn this person on and they really got intentions on trying to get you to be their girlfriend or whatever. And this is also this person from the past. It's like more than one person wanting you, Leo. 
It says, let me take you. Yeah, I feel like whoever this new person is that you're dating, I feel like it is safe to love this person, but it's like you're just struggling with being vulnerable. It's like you're trying, Leo, but take it one day at a time. It's not no rush. Like, allow this person to make you feel safe so you can open up. Like, you're good. Go as slow as you need to go. And let's do it in public. So, yeah, y'all definitely, whoever whoever this person is, is definitely on some kinky shit. Um, or they could be like a, um, yeah, let's make love in the moonlight on the bottom of the deck. They could be some sort of, like, exhibitionist. Like, they like to be watched during sex or they like to record themselves during sex and rewatch it or some shit. I don't know. This person is a freak, whoever this new person is. But whatever. Anyway, Leo, this has been your reading, and I will holler at y'all later. Peace.